So guys, for today, we're going from, girl, what the F is wrong with your head, to yes, your sew-in is late. And guys, this is not even a sew-in. This is a quick weave. So if you guys want to know how I achieved this, guys, so this video is sponsored by Ali Julia Hair. Never worked with this brand, but the packaging was pretty nice. It reminded me of Eunice. I don't know if they are a sister brand, but if they're not, my bad. Um, the bundles were fine. No smell, no tingling, no shedding, no none of that. I'm putting this cap on, um, basically for the tracks to stick on to because I definitely didn't want to put the glue on directly on my hair so I will be putting the glue on this wig cap I only used two I was going to use three but two is fine and I'm just going to take my got to be glue blasting spray you guys see this in my videos all the time um I'm just going to spray like a shit ton of this on my hair I needed this basically for the glue to stick onto and I also needed it as like a shield from my real hair in the glue. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I use like a lot of this, you guys. Like so I use so much of this because I was like, uh-uh, I'm going I'm trying to be extra protected. So I'm gonna spray this got to be blast and spray on my hair so that I won't have no problems come when it's time to take it off. But yeah, after I've done that, I took my blow dryer and I just blow dried the hair or the cap until it kind of got hard. And you could tell when I put my head down that it's like kind of hard in certain spots. It didn't take that long to dry at all. It's something that dries pretty quick. If you don't have this, you can also use spritz. And this is the bonding glue that I use from, you know, got it from beauty supply store up for like a couple of dollars but this is like a really easy tutorial you guys i'm sure you guys seen tons of quick weave tutorials mine is not really like a how to i just wanted to show you guys like how i did it because this is definitely not like a tutorial type of thing i don't think it is because it's just not but all i did was basically cut a piece and then i you know put the glue on there and glued it to the back of my head and as you guys could see i had um put my hair into a low ball in the back and that's where I started at. I definitely didn't measure my tracks because I've done this before and you always start short in the back and then you go long when you're going up towards the top. This is like super easy and I like doing this method when I need something really quick and easy and this is also something a method that you can do when you don't know how to sew your hair, you don't know how to do braids and you want to sew in. That was my case <laughs> so yeah but yeah you guys this is super repetitive all you're doing is cutting a piece of hair if you want to measure it go ahead and measure it um cut the hair put the glue on there and then you glue it to the back of your head i did blow dry between um you know like every four tracks or so i didn't end blow dry every single time but i made sure that i did it frequently and yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and shut up <laughs> um and i guess i'll see you guys at the end of this video my camera did cut off you guys my camera did cut off so you guys definitely won't be able to see me um gluing my tracks in for the top half of my head but you will see everything else
it's all glued in its natural state of the hair um it's really really full i did get all four of those bundles in you guys so this is what four bundles would look like it is very very full so here i am just unraveling my real hair and i'm gonna cut the cap now you need to be very very careful with this part because you can snip your real hair like seriously like I, right there i thought that i snipped my hair off but i didn't um you just have to be really really careful and really precise and make sure that those scissors is not that close to your real hair and yeah but all you're doing here is just cutting off that excess cap where your natural hair would be <music> decided to go ahead and give myself some layers because the look that I was going for was like this deep side part with a bang and you know just like a whole lot of body but I ended up straightening this hair so if I knew that I was going to keep this hair straight I would not have cut the hair but it all worked out at the end but yeah all I'm doing is basically just giving myself some layers focusing more on like the frame of my face type thing um then cutting down at the bottom i guess if that makes sense um i'm also going to do a curl test for you guys because i think that's important and i wanted to see what it would look like with my natural hair as well i have not straightened my natural hair um yet in these clips so that's why my natural hair looks really really puffy and it doesn't look like it really blends with the weave but once i straighten this hair it will look like it will look really good so here's the curl and it curled really, really nicely. And I just wanted to make sure that I showed you guys that. I look so retarded. Let me see. 